You know, we were able to get there. Uh, almost all of our teams got to 10 games, which is what we were hoping to accomplish. Um, we did have one team that was only able to get to nine, um, which was unfortunate. Um, but again, I, you know, there was definitely a lot of situations that we, that we had to get through this winter, but we did. Um, and, and I think ultimately the kids who participated had a great experience, uh, certainly one they won't forget, um, you know, and uh, now we quickly turn the page right into the next season. And I do want to mention we have Kevin Stone on with us as well from the Metro West Daily News. He might jump in with a question or two. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we do have the uh, fall two season coming up next, and uh, we're going to have some March and April football and some uh, girls volleyball, also some unified basketball and swimming. Mm-hmm. Uh, how did everything go planning-wise for the upcoming fall two season? And uh, I understand the teams are in practice right now. Uh, how's everything going? Uh, you know, knock on wood, things are going really, really well uh, through these first few days. Um, you know, the fact that we're now in our third COVID season, uh, you know, for lack of a better way of explaining it, you know, I think we're, we're getting pretty adept at, at managing the different modifications um, that are thrown at us by the state EEA, uh, as well as the MIAA and the different modifications. And, and one of the nice things is that as we've moved through the year, there's certainly some challenges that we still have in, in the mask wearing and the distancing and some of the rules that we have to abide by. But one of the nice things has been that the rules of the games have largely started to become more traditional. Um, you know, whereas in the fall, you know, you take soccer and field hockey, for example, those sports were drastically altered uh, in terms of the rules of their games. We saw some alterations in basketball um, and hockey, but really, for the most part, the games were still the games. Um, and then now, you know, football, volleyball, uh, again, during the, the games or the matches, um, they're pretty pretty much being played as they should be. Um, the biggest challenge for swimming and diving, um, which is another one of our fall two sports, is that those meets are being held virtually. Um, so that is a significant change, not having an opponent sort of in the lane right next to you that you're kind of competing against. Um, so that's a significant change for sure. Um, but most of our sports are starting to be played a little bit more like they should be, at least in terms of the rules. Um, again, the mask wearing and some of the bench areas and things like that are certainly still uh, very, very different. So not a whole lot of differences in uh, football at all? No. Uh, in terms of the rules of the game, you know, that you know, it's some really minor stuff in terms of like huddles, for instance, you all have to be facing the same direction, you know, instead of kind of coming together in a circle, you know, really sort of limited type things. I think the biggest change for football, honestly, is that we can't use locker rooms. Um, uh, and just given the equipment dude. that's involved in playing football. But in terms of when they're out there on the field playing, the game is going to be the game of football, um, you know, and same with volleyball. Again, there's some, some small rules and, and this is true in football. We got to sanitize the balls and the equipment and stuff like that. But again, when a volleyball match is going on, unlike in the fall, there were some significant rule changes in the fall for those schools that played volleyball in the fall. You actually had to change the ball out every point. Wow. You also had a three foot sort of buffer at the net that you sort of couldn't cross when you were going up for a hit. Right, it um, essentially took spiking out. Exactly, um, which is obviously a, a key part of the game. Um, so those, those rules have been, have been eliminated. So again, now you're gonna see a more traditional game of volleyball. Again, they're not gonna switch sides. I mean, they're limited, there are small changes um, where they typically change sides every, every set. That's not going to happen. Um, you know, again, so there are changes. But I would say nothing, you know, overly significant like we had in the fall. I mean, soccer and field hockey were different sports.